This is an article I wrote recently on Luis Enrique and his training exercises. You can read the full article with the detail on modernsoccercoach.com slash blog for free. There's other articles up there as well, tactical analysis, training session articles. The reason why I picked Luis Enrique for this one was his philosophy has always fascinated me. Here is a clip from him talking just when he was a Barcelona B coach about his philosophy and values. I see football as based on a very clear idea. Attack, get forward, do some damage, to defend as far away as possible from my goal, to have the ball, if we can score five, not score just four, to try and concede as few goals as possible. That's my idea, and luckily it's similar to the football that Barca play. This is football, it's a team sport. We can't have a player who has a personal goal that comes before the group. The players, and luckily there aren't any in this team, who only think about personal objectives for room. They'll soon be out of here. Play well within what's a collective. You make your contribution, you get organised, you make an impact, do what the coach recommends, which would be what looks the best for the team. The coach doesn't look for a personal objective. I look to win. So these are some exercises uh, that I've picked up from Luis Enrique. The first is a pass and warm up, high intensity. It's not your typical ready to go in the session. This is a hundred percent maximum intensity. There's a turn, there's a combination play, there's long passes, short passes. And you can see here in the video uh, that he's doing it with his Spanish team from the Euros. This might be a pre-season exercise. It might be an activation day. Uh, when they're getting the players ready for tournament mode. You don't really know the context of what they're doing, but the intensity and the detail and the work rate is there for all to see. So the quality as well is pretty high. Distances probably looking about 25 yards in the sprint, 10, 15 yards of the passing combinations. And again, high intensity. There's not just a passing exercise, there's also a turn and it's done really, really well. Even though there's a little mistake there, there's a quick recovery and back again. So I thought that was really interesting, interesting exercise. The second one was a possession game and there's a couple of these here, different variations. This one is a 4v4 plus three, pretty common in the modern game this is something that from his Barcelona days the setup is we've probably all seen it two players on the outside one in the middle and then a 4v4 plus one and then there's a transitional moment as well it, you can play this in different ways you can focus on the transition you can focus on the quality and possession this looks to be an open training day so they're probably just looking for a, an activation exercise just to get the players going Nothing too strenuous in terms of the transitions, but again, passing angles. They've got two sets of this here. Again, you can see the Barca team with Dani Alves, Iniesta, some great players here. The detail of where they're receiving it, how they're moving it, Messi as well. Is it a pretty high level? The transitions, again, are not as high intensity because probably the nature of the session so it's just about getting the players used to those combinations. That's Iniesta in the middle. I mean, it's, it's really high level in terms of the quality, as you would expect with those players. And the session restarts then when possession is turned over. You can also then use the goalkeepers for this here, which he is on the far side as outside players. You can use the transitions, again, to be aggressive with winning the ball back or... You can just stop the ball and turn over possessions depending on how you want to manage the load of the team, the workload of the team. Next one is bigger numbers, 8v8 plus 3. Similar idea in terms of the possession, maybe an activation exercise that he was doing just to get the players in small spaces and getting the shapes that maybe they want to take into bigger spaces. So... The interesting thing, this was done again with the Spanish team before the Euros. Interesting thing for me was the, the speed of the transitions. So maybe from a, from a physical standpoint or even from a training session standpoint, they wanted to em emphasize this a little bit more. 
defensive pressure is quite high and then when the ball's turned over you can see red shirts getting around it quality of the ball movement is really really high as well so plus three are, are situated on two on the outside and one in the middle different range of passing as well again the quality is so high and what's been worked on tactically we don't quite know but there are a lot of things that you could guess here from in possession and out of possession as well that are are aspects that you could take into a training session again the the speed of play is is really really high so again it goes alongside the intensity that that he talked about in that initial video and the quality and the onus on the collective as well in his training sessions this next one is a 10 v 9 really really tactical exercise looking to break down a low block midfield that with his Barcelona team and just getting into the penalty area so breaking down compact defences some players defensively are restricted to certain areas 2v1 in the initial phase and then in the middle 4v4 and on the top end 4v4 as well looks like the attacking players can drop in and can also add overloads it's all about receiving the ball in, in short spaces and tight spaces transitioning as well getting the ball back if they lose it and then circulating it again and starting another attack so when you watch an exercise like this you can see the Barcelona that we all grew up loving 10, 15 years ago getting into the penalty area there's no goalkeeper so it's just a matter of almost an end zone game nature of the game so this could be just refining certain movements this could be a pre-game exercise a match day minus one exercise where it's just about those relationships between midfielders or centre backs or forwards and the final ball which we know that Xavi and Iniesta Messi were unbelievable at training load wise it's not that high so maybe that's another reason why there's no goalkeeper in there and it's not as competitive in terms of the intensity but it's just about finding spaces and moving defences and moving that green team where you can open up players like Iniesta there and find forwards so I thought this was really really interesting interesting way of setting up a game like I said really really tactically at a high level because of where you're putting players and the types of situations you're trying to create there's high levels of constraints here in terms of spaces but you get an appreciation of how good these players are by how they can manoeuvre and move defences into creating passes like this and then pictures that you can get in front of back fours. We'll just take a quick break here. Thank you so much for watching the content at Modern Soccer Coach. If you would like to support what we're doing and help us provide more free coaching education with the webinars and the podcasts and everything else, please take a look at this offer that we have from the webinars over the summer. Coaches can now download every single webinar tactical presentation that we did from the lockdown period over the summer. Just over $1 per webinar. You can personally download all 25 webinars that will be yours to keep. Each webinar is over one hour long and features a detailed presentation followed by live Q&A with the coaches in attendance. We cover topics such as youth and elite player development, sports science, tactical analysis, match preparation, goalkeeper pressing and other key specific areas. We had coaches such as Jesse Marsh, Nolan Sheldon, Ivan Beregi, Adin Osman Basic, Oliver Gage, Jonas Munkfall, Kat Smith, John Wall and many more. ModernSoccerCoach.com slash shop. You can go there, get yours now. Support Modern Soccer Coach. Help us provide free content with our webinars and podcasts throughout the year. Thank you. The next one is a finishing exercise. 
that again I thought was really interesting. A lot of coaches talk amongst themselves about making things game realistic. How do you set up game realism whenever you're Barcelona and Messi is outside the box and you have 10 players between him and the goal? This is unopposed, but just I think it's really interesting for the high level of challenge it is technically. So I think it's just a little bit of fun to finish off the exercise. Again, it might be a match day minus one activity uh, he did with the Barcelona team, but it's really simple. The ball's played down the line and the player must find the player that passed it to them on the edge of the box who must finish it. And they must pass it through the mannequins. So it's a, it's a pullback, but it's a pullback on top of the box. So again, you don't really know the context and what the objective or the outcome is, but it might just be a bit of fun. But it's something that I think we all look at it and think it's interesting, it's difficult. Um, the players seem to be quite engaged with it and trying different things. But I looked at this initially and didn't think it was realistic. And then the more you think of Barcelona and you think of those forwards that sometimes have to drop outside the box because defences stay very, very low and, and close to the goalkeeper and try to take away the space in behind them, then sometimes your forwards might have to pop out into these areas. So are they seeing these pictures in a game? Again, it's, the, the difficulty level is quite high, but maybe that's what those players want before the game, just to, just to challenge them slightly. Nothing too complex tactically, but just something that they can maybe have a little bit of fun with and experiment with, with different techniques and different ranges. Thank you for watching the video. Please, if you enjoyed it and want to read more about exercises, session design, coaches who can put things together, please go to modernsoccercoach.com slash shop. The books are also available on Kindle uh, that you can check out as well. So thank you for the support.